guys, it's James Henry II here, and today's video is my video for my top 10 Glee songs of group songs. Now, you're probably wondering by the title, why is it not top 10? Why does it say part 1? That is because I when I made my Spotify playlist to determine which songs were going to be in the top 10 list, I had a very, very difficult time narrowing it down to just 10 because, as you guys know, the Glee group songs are so good and there are so many that I just could not narrow it down to just 10 songs. So that is why I am doing two parts to this video. Part 1 is right now, part 2 will be uploaded on... Friday, September 18th, and if you're watching this after September 18th, or on September 18th, you can click right here, and you can see part two. So let's get down to business. Number 20, Some Nights from Season 4. Some nights I stay up, cashing in my bag. Now this song I chose because it's one of those one really fun songs, no pun intended, that just... It's like such a fun performance song, and they they did a really good job on it. That's really all I have to say for that song. <laughs> Sorry. Number 19, Paradise by the Dashboard Light from Season 3. Now the song, I remember when I used to listen to it, I, was, I would always skip it, but when I heard it again on my list, which you guys, I will, I will leave the links down below, from my narrowing down to this, so you can click on the link below to listen to all these songs too on Spotify. Just follow me on Spotify. This song, I would usually skip it, but when I watched the video as I was narrowing it down to my top 10, it was so fun. Like, they had, it was such a high energy performance, and it reminded me of when Vocal Adrenaline performed Bohemian Rhapsody in season 1, because the song is like broken up into different, like, different sections of music. Like, the beginning is kind of slow, but then it speeds up. And then it like just so good, and their performances were so on point, and they were they were amazing. And I think it was I don't remember if it was regionals or nationals, but that that's where they performed it, and it was just so fun. And their energy was just way up there, and it was just one of those performances that you just can't you just can't look away from, especially if you were there live watching it. That would have been amazing to see live, and they did a really good job. Number eighteen. We are the champions from season three. I paid my dues. This song is one of those one songs that you either love or you hate. Me, I sort of hate it because it's just so overplayed and it's just one of those songs that people always play either at sporting events or graduations or anything that involves someone like achieving a goal or something or you know, actually becoming a champion, or like a champion on something. And I just never really enjoyed it because it was so overplayed. So when they did this song on Glee, I just kind of felt, okay, this is another song. But when they added it to the graduation album, I was graduating at the same time they were on the show. So I felt it was like a personal song for them. So I made it personal for me too. It was like, I completed something. I completed high school. I graduated high school. I am a champion for doing that. Cause you know, some people, they do jump out, and these guys, they graduated, and they, I forget, I think they won nationals, maybe? And it was just, the ending of the song is what I like the most, because I think it's Leah and Corey's vocals, they're harmonizing together, and then just the group comes in, and it's just, it gave me chills, like, I just love that it gave me chills, because you know when a song is good, when it gives you chills, and that song gave me chills. Number 17. The Scientist from Season 4. This song I always listened to in high school and I uh, just... I never really had a personal connection to it, I just listened to it whenever I felt sad or I just wanted to be alone and I never really connected it to anything relationship-wise, which I probably maybe never have fully listened to the lyrics. Um, I probably still haven't, so I, it could be anything relevant to any situation that you're going through. 
but um, it's just a song that you just listen to. It's like, it could be for any mood, really. You could be happy and listen to it. This song I chose because the performance um, in the episode, I think it was the last song in the episode of The Breakup, and all these couples were breaking up or on the verge of breaking up with one another, and just the lyric that is so repetitive in the song, nobody said it was easy, it's, it was heartbreaking to hear. And especially at the end, like I remember one of the favorite, my favorite parts is when all of them are singing together. They're not looking at any like each other. They're all looking out into the audience, the blackness of the audience. That it's so hauntingly beautiful. That it is so good. And each person had like a certain part of the song that they sang. That it, in a way, it was relevant to them. Like um, I remember Heather's part where she was saying uh, science and figures or something and I was like, well, I mean, I know it's science, but it has to do with like learning and school and that's, I think, when she was becoming like really smart in math at the time of the, uh, the series and it was just so good, like it gave me chills because it was so like powerful and it was just these like nine people, I believe, or ten, I forget, and they were just on stage singing, they were all dressed in black, if I remember correctly, and it was just a really great performance and... I will see, if I find these videos, they will be on the screen somewhere where I can find them. You can find that song here. <laughs> Number 16. I still haven't found what I'm looking for from season 5. Looking back on it now, I remembered why I didn't like it. Because, and this is the only reason why I didn't like the song. It was the episode, watching it being um, performed on stage, I don't like it, because, if you guys remember, and I'll put the link here, caution them, only watch it if you're prepared to cry at it. When they performed this, they were all paying homage to Cory Monteith's character Finn, and I remember when they were performing it, Carol said, this is uh, Finn's favorite song, or Finn loved this song, they're performing all of his favorite songs. I was like, oh gosh, okay, this is going to be like emotional. But then what made it worse was that they started doing flashbacks of Finn on the show, or Corey, sorry, of Corey on the show. And whenever someone dies, even if they're, you know, like just a character dies, but like because his character died and Corey Monty died in real life, the flashbacks just, it hit me in the heart so bad, I started crying so hard. And then of course at the end, it, it, and it's, the performance was amazing too, like, it's just so heartbreaking to hear now, it's such an upbeat song, but it's so sad, and then at the very end, Cord is holding drumsticks and just puts them up in the air, it's so heartbreaking, I just, watch it here, watch it, love it, cry, enjoy it, remember, remember Cord Monty. Number 15, Proud Mary from Season 1. this song because it was one of those songs, I think it was like their first song that brought the New Directions as a family at the Glee Club, like they supported one another because if you guys remember, that week was um, wheelchair week, uh, so everybody in the Glee Club had to be in wheelchairs for like I think three hours a day because they were saying, oh we don't need to rent a special bus for Artie, his dad could take him and Artie just felt... He felt hurt there by that because he didn't want to be excluded from being with the rest of his Glee Club members. So everybody was in a wheelchair and they performed this number, this amazing number for him. And as you remember, Corey says, this one's for you, Artie. And uh, it's just, it was so good. Like the performance was so amazing and the vocals, Amber Riley kills it in that song. And it's just such a high energy performance that you just, if you listen to it again, you, you just, I get nostalgic listening to it because it brings back all these memories of how great season one was. Like I don't think any other season of Glee could top how great season one was, and especially this song. And you guys will see in, in later songs why season one was the best season of Glee. Number 14, Don't Stop from season two. Now again, this is another number where the Glee Club members uh, they are supporting another Glee Club member as a family, and this was when Sam and his family were going through a really hard time financially, and there was, there was all these rumors and all these suspicions about Sam. Was he secretly dating Kurt? He had his jacket. Was he sneaking off to do all, I know, all these things? Everybody was concerned, and so um, when they found out what happened, 
they performed this number for him, and it was just really sweet. It was a really nice moment to share on, to have on the show, and it was just really nice for them to do that for Sam, and it was just so nice because I just remember him being so happy and feeling so accepted and not ashamed or hiding a secret anymore, and it was just so sweet. And again, you guys can see the performance here if it's there. It's not like I said, I'm just pointing at nothing, but watch it all, watch the entire show again. <laughs> It was really good. It was so heartwarming, and that song was just so nice because, like, the lyrics say, Don't stop thinking about tomorrow. It'll soon be here. It'll be better than before. Yesterday's gone. Just don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Passes the past. Let it go. Number 13. Stronger, What Doesn't Kill You, from Season 3. Now, this song, I forget their names, I want to say they were the... They were the girl group, the other vocal uh, glee club from, I think, Shelby, when she was there, was their teacher? This is when it was like the... I remember. But they were they performed a song for either sectionals, regionals, or nationals, one of the performances that they do. I always forget because it's so long ago. That was season three, guys. Come on, give me a break. But the song was really good, and the song in general was good, but their performance was so amazing, and it was just so... Oh. I'm at a loss for words right now because of how great it was. The vocals are on point. If I remember correctly, the performance was on point, because it's just those girls that killed it. They are stronger. They are strong, independent, and powerful. Enough said. Number 12. Anything Could Happen from Season 4. This song, I love it. I actually prefer the Glee version over Ellie Golding's version because one, I just love ensemble songs compared to solo songs. So this song was so fun. And if you guys remember, this was the episode where um, one of the storylines that they could have gone so well with that made me like, oh my gosh, I have to see next week's episode now. Because usually it's just like, oh, Glee's not next week, okay. But no, this one, the ending, if you guys remember, it's when the Glee Club is performing the song and they're all dancing, they're all doing this like great choreography. And during that time, Will is looking at pictures of Emma. I forget exactly what happened in that storyline, but I just remember seeing the video and he's looking at pictures of Emma. And um, then crossover to New York where Rachel is in bed with Brody. Brody's sleeping, but Rachel has her agenda and she's like looking at the calendar. And of course, you know, in any like media or film or anything, when a woman is looking at a calendar concern, you know that she's checking the dates of if she missed her period or how long she has missed her period for. And so the ending is when Rachel is in the bathroom, she took a pregnancy test. And in the Glee Club, when they're performing, you all these balloons fall down on stage, and you know that must have been so much fun to film. And the song is like, anything could happen, anything could happen. My wine glass fell. So that song was amazing, and I just feel like they missed a great opportunity for them to... I feel like they just did that so that people can tune in for next week, because the ending of the episode is just like, Rachel's like... But then again, she ended up not being pregnant, it was just a false scare, and it could have been Finn's baby, I think. And number 11 to end this video is Sing from Season 2. Now, this song, My Chemical Romance, before, this is when My Chemical Romance kind of went way off of their original music, because this is more mainstream pop, where it had like the verse, the chorus, the second verse, the chorus, the bridge, and then the end of the song. So this one, their assignment was anthems, and I just love, first of all, Cory Monteith and Flannel. Mm. All of them were wearing flannels, even Sue Sylvester performed the song with them. It was such a great song! Like, remember, if you guys remember watching the Glee concert, they performed the song there. And it's just one of those songs that you just can't help but sing with them. You just want to like, put your fist in the air and just like, Sing for the world, sing for the world. I love it. Can't ever get over it. And that is why it is my number 11 song, the top of this top 20 to 11 song for Glee Seasons 1, 
all of them. It's such a great song. I just can't help sing along with them. And, ooh, I still to this day, I can lose my voice singing that song. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up down there. And if you guys can hit that subscribe button down there too, that would be much greatly appreciated. Share this video with your fellow Gleeks. Uh, check out this area here for my other Glee Top 10 songs. And click here to see part two of this video, which will be up shortly. There will be nothing here for a few days. Um, but if you are watching this after the second one is posted, then go ahead and click here and you will watch part two. And if you guys want to watch my other Glee related videos, you can click here. And if you guys want to watch my other videos, my concerts, you can click here. And if you guys can subscribe to me, just click here, down there, here. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and be on the lookout for part two, because part two is going to be so much fun for me to show you guys my top ten Glee group songs, as hard as it was. You can find all my social media stuff down there, follow me on Snapchat, I go to concerts sometimes and they're fun because I like to Snapchat and the concerts to you guys so that you guys can watch at home. Uh, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Tumblr, I like to post random stuff, lots of everything. Um, just hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you guys are watching this, in whatever country, I know you guys watch it all over the world, it's just amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.